a new Mac Mini, an Apple folding phone. Let's talk about some Apple news. Let's go. Yeah. All right, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do another Apple news video and I have eight different stories to cover with you. I'm just gonna go through them really quickly, share my screen here, just to get some more information about recent Apple news. If you're interested in Apple products or computers or whatever you wanna call them, watch this channel, I have a ton of videos on it. Let's start off though with the new Mac Mini. A couple little things changed. A little while ago I showed you guys some pictures of what they thought was the next Mac Mini. Let's go over to my screen here. I have a couple, uh, you know, this is actually from John Prosser. I keep quoting him because he's the kind of the person that keeps putting out these, these images of everything. But here's what he says is the new one's gonna look like. You can see it here. Before he had kind of a white top on it, now it's got a gray, we don't know if it's glass or metal. You can see it there. He thinks it's expected in spring of 2022 and it's gonna come with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max chip, so that would be a big upgrade for sure. Uh, you know, as long as, he, so he doesn't think they're coming out with a new chip, maybe just those, those kind of chips that are in the MacBook Pros right now. If we scroll down though, you can kind of take a look at this and you'll see the design of it. Tell me if you like it or not. It has those kind of rubber feet on it that are very similar to the new MacBooks. You can see it there. It's got a vent on the bottom as well over here on the right. Again, these are by John Prosser. This is, all my stories are going to be coming from Apple Insider as well. So I want to quote them or give them a kind of a plug there. So as we go down here, this is what he thinks the new design is going to look like. And the one glaring thing, it's got the four USB-C Thunderbolt ports, the two USB-A ports, and uh, it's got an Ethernet jack there, it's got an HDMI jack, it's got the Apple power cable, which is the one that's basically on the iMacs. The big thing here, though, is notice you don't see a headphone jack, and I hope that's not right, because if you don't have a headphone jack on this, I'm going to be very disappointed. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is what he's thinking it's going to look like coming in just a couple months, but no headphone jack. I don't know about that. All right, so the next story I talked about a little while ago, and this is, again, let me, we'll just go over here, check my screen out over here. It says, domestic abuser busted in the act of putting an air tag on a car. A while back, I had a story about people doing this in Canada. Uh, people were basically following people back and then robbing them. Here's another story about a bad use of an Apple air tag of someone that's married to someone, I guess, you know, kind of track them domestic. It says domestic abuse or something. So again, you gotta be careful with these things because they can track you. So not that you have to sweep your car every time, you know, you actually go drive your car, but just keep in mind that this is something that could happen. So when any new technology comes, negatives and positives, this is a negative. It's been happening with people mugging people and stuff. Not that it's very common, but just something to think about. Here's another story here. Again, domestic abuser busted, so it's another one, and I think that's probably about the 10th or 12th story I've read about this, so just keep an open mind and, and you know, always watch out. All right, so we got another story here, and this one's kind of cool. So if you're looking for the new iPhone in the future, this one's gonna be about the Apple's folding iPhone. And again, these are just renderings. This is not gonna be coming directly from Apple. But let's go over to the screen here. Tell me what you think how this looks. So take a look at what they think it would look like. Obviously, it's gonna look like an iPhone, two iPhones put together, as you can see in the pictures here. Um, it's gonna have, what is it, three cameras, maybe four cameras and a flash. So if you scroll down here, let's go all the way down to the bottom, you can see how this is. Now, the problem I have with folding phones like this is just the thickness and it's hard to hold them in your pocket and things. Obviously, when you flip them open, you have a lot of screen real estate, but at the end of the day, I mean, do you want something this thick? Look how thick this thing is. It looks cool, um, definitely, and let's see if there's any other pictures. So when it opens up, you'll see it down here. It's gonna be wide open like this. You have a huge screen there to work on. I mean, I guess the two negatives are gonna be the fact that it's really bulky, number one, and the cost. I don't know if it's gonna say, it says it's rumored for 2023 and 2024, somewhere in that range. So you're still about a year or two away from this. Let me see if it says anything about the cost. It doesn't really say much about the cost in here. Uh, let me just see here, not really. So my guess though is it's probably gonna be like 1800 bucks or something or $2,000, that's my guess, but who knows. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is that even gonna be something to, you know, should you wait for that or should you not? Or is that something that's just kind of, uh, they'll, they'll never come out with it. All right, the next story is kind of cool if you're into this kind of stuff. I use a Google phone like I told you. Uh, I also have, I mean, I have an Apple phone and, and my wife does too. Long story short though, this will work for anything. This is kind of a cool thing. So if you have a very expensive Apple phone, Zag, Z-A-G-G, -G, launches a $99 phone smart, or a $99 a year smart, smartphone, I can't say that, insurance plan. So if we go down here, it says, it basically is a, a new mobile device protection plan that covers dips, liquid damage, cracked screens, and other potential smartphone problems for 99 bucks a year. It says that users can get their smartphone, smartphones repaired for a flat $49 deductible. 
if you want to get them repaired. So it does everything from like, again, cracked screens to liquid damage, camera breaks. It does say in here though, like if it's something to do with the manufacturer within the manufacturer warranty, like electronics and stuff, then you have to go back to them. So is this really worth it for that much money? I mean, I only spend, you know, personally I spend like 400 bucks on my phone. So spending a hundred bucks a year is kind of hard to swallow. But if you're spending 12, 1300 bucks on a phone, this is something you might want to consider because just dropping it out of your pocket can really, you know, do some damage to it. This looks like it'll do the screens and everything else. So good idea, it's from Zag. Again, th these are all on um, Apple Insider if you guys wanna check these out. So definitely go back and you can search for these stories on there. All right, the next story is kind of a fun one, just, just a fun story, but I'm gonna show you my screen here. Let's go over here. So Apple Computers, there's actually a business card from Steve Jobs, you can see it here. And it's gonna go on auction, it's from 1979. Now you understand like some of their old stuff sells for like hundreds of thousands of dollars. I can't imagine this is gonna sell for that. But look at this, so you, you, you're gonna be able to buy this if you want to. It says it's a rare card. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, right? But it says it's going up for auction in mid-February. So and then bidding starts, let me see, bidding ends on March 17th. Um, so it says, let me just see here. It says that the bidding starts only at $300, but is expected to go way, way higher than that. And uh, you know, for a card like that, it'd be maybe cool to kind of frame it, but really, he, unless he signed it or something, it doesn't look like he even signed it. It looks like it's just a business card and that's it. So while it might be real, it does say that the, the Apple One computer sold for $500,000, but again, we all know that's not gonna be anywhere close to this. I'm guessing this might go for like 1,000 or 2,000. I can't imagine anyone spending more than that, but you just never know. All right, this, this next story is gonna be like one of those stories where I keep saying, come on, Apple, what are you doing here? So Apple files a lawsuit to stop an upcoming indie Apple Man film. It's called Apple Man is the film, right? So now Apple's suing this company. Take a look at this, I have share my screen here. So here's, here's the kind of the trailer. And the reason this is so ridiculous is Apple thinks it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna think people will think it has to do with them because it says Apple Man. It says it's a Ukrainian film and uh, it's, it's basically an indie action comedy movie, Apple Man. The film centers around a superhero who has the power to levitate apples. <laughs> First of all, that, that's ridiculous. Second of all, what does it have to do with Apple? I have no idea, like as far as the actual computers and stuff. So again, is that overreach? Do you think big companies should be able to do this to like small places? Can they really basically patent the term Apple? I mean, Apple's so common. I don't know. I don't agree with it. Let me know what you think. All right, so this next one is gonna be about the, it's a little bit disappointing, but it's about the iMac, the new iMac Pro. So if you're looking for the iMac Pro for business or doing video editing and stuff, it looks like it got pushed back. You can see here it says, new iMac Pro coming later than expected with modified mini LED backlights. It says new report. So if you look at this, it just says that they're reporting that it's gonna be basically the summer of 2022 instead of spring. So that's not a huge, you know, huge, huge issue. It says the display analyst, let me just see here, is good track, it says he's got a good track record of reporting information about Apple. He said, previously said that mini LED equipped iMac Pro could, could launch in the spring. So we're not, not a big difference there. Um, it also says, you know, a lot of people are saying that they're not gonna go to 32 inches. It's gonna be basically that 27 inch. I still think that they need something bigger than that. I think they do need 32 inch. Let me know what you think in the comments. 32 inches is right, right? I mean, you don't want another 27 inch iMac if you're gonna be doing design or video editing. 32 better, bigger is better in a lot of cases. I know it's kind of a sweet spot in there, but let me know what you think in the comments. All right, and for the last story, it's more about Europe. For all the people from Europe watching, it's basically gonna be the, you know, before a lot of people use Android phones in Europe. I, for some reason, I, I kind of knew that, and I, I saw a lot of people using a lot more Android phones. Well, it looks like Apple's basically hits its highest European market share during the roller coaster year of 2021. So if you look over here at my screen, you're gonna see the, the headline right there, and it says it's basically in 2021. It says Apple's sm smartphone business grew 25% year over year in 2021 and hit its highest ever market share. So it's basically gonna be Apple's total market share through 2021 was 26%. 26% of the market there in, in Europe, up from 22% in 2020. So Apple's growing everywhere. Um, you know, it's one of those things, like I said, it's, it's a lot more in the United States, around the world it's not so much, but it looks like they're kind of reaching out to everybody. I don't know how I feel about that. I like, I like some of the diversity. You can see here, it's basically still, you know, still a lot lower. Well, actually it's getting a little bit higher than Samsung according to this. So it looks like it overtook Samsung or close to it. So it's right in the same range. But I like a lot of people using other phones and like having just 
diversity out there. That's just the way I am with phones. Not so much I use computers. I usually use Apple. But with phones, I like a diversity. Let me know what you think. It's good for pricing. It's good for everything else, I think, and just you know, people being innovative and stuff. So anyways, that's it for Apple News today. I hope you guys like these kind of videos. I mean, when I'm kind of in between stories and in between reviews, I like doing stuff like this. Let me know what you think, if you like them or not. Um, I don't get a ton of views from them, so I'm not sure I want to do a ton of them. But in the end, I'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.